Hi hey everyone and welcome back to Undertale. Last time I killed our goat mom but then I decided that didn't happen and then uh, I made it not happen but the game still remembers that we did that because Undertale. That's the kind of game it is. And I, I, I love it for it. I always wanted to play a game that that lets you uh, reload your saves to like not do something but they, the game remembers that you did that anyway and it sort of kind of like flirts you with it about it but you know doesn't let doesn't stop you from proceeding with your new reloaded save you guys guys get my meaning uh, even so i am aware that if i go through my genocide playthrough it's gonna permanently stain my save forever because i've been spoiled by quite a bit about this game anyway apparently i can't come back after I go through here, apparently, this is definitely feels like a Toby Fox game. I already I played uh, his uh, Earthbound ROM hack a long time ago, the the Halloween hack as it's called, and I can definitely like sense a trend in like uh, how similar this uh, game Undertale right here has with the Halloween hack. What, Flowey again? Seriously, clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. You murdered her. And then you went back because you regretted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You naive idiot. You think you are the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world? Purely by your own determination. Yes, yeah, see? I knew it. The ability to play God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was to save. I thought I was the only one with that power. But I can't save anymore. Apparently your desires for this world override mine. Hmm. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. I'll be wait watching. Yeah. Yeah, well, Flowey, you're not the absolute god of this world. You really aren't. In case some of you are wondering, um, your power of godliness cannot override a single w one character in this game. Here's the thing, though. You can, in fact, override your power of godliness by... Completely erasing all of your save files of this game, which means you have to uninstall it and go into your folders and find wherever the save files were somewhere around there. Or maybe you just uninstall it. I'm not sure. But if you want to see what's gonna ha what will happen if you actually spare uh, your goat mom's life and don't like have to restart by never murdering her in the first place, you can do it by completely uninstalling the game. Sorry for wasting so much time, but... When I want to say something, I tend to just move around in circles, you know? But yeah, it's quite intentional. Oh, oh, we're going through the intro now? This, this, what, I, what I was playing through was the intro. It was just a tutorial level. This is the first level over here. And I'm locked. I can't, can't go back through, literally. Yeah, I was scared of that thing. It's a stick. It's a tough looking branch, too heavy to pick up. I'm liking the sound effects here. The atmosphere. It's tense. I have this feeling something's gonna come up from behind me. Huh. Yeah, of course. What do you want? Why can't I move? Please let me move. Yes, human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Sure. It's a hand, right? Not a gun, right? Oh. Okay. Who are you? The old whoopee cushion, the hand trick. 
It's oh, oh you, you, I I can't I didn't quite hear that sound effect. Sorry, I thought it was a giggle. Did some of you think it was a giggle? Anyway, you're human, right? Yes, I am. Yes, it is hilarious. Sans the skeleton, huh? You're quite popular with the uh, everyone, really. Hasn't there been only like a couple? Uh, brother, Peppers. Human hunting fanatic. And I think you're a liar. That's true. I was I was gonna, I was about to say. Hey, don't push me. Ah, come here. Why can I not control myself anymore? <laughs> you know, uh, the entire mood of the game has completely changed. I was mentioning about that, but Toby Fox, but he was holding back when he was making the tutorial level. He was holding back. All the things you deserve. Respect, recognition. I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard! Am I the only one who's looking at the sprites themselves to see uh, all of their animations? It's better than the, the text box up here. How is, how is it that I'm able to fit through this lamp anyway? Kind of worked, I think. Oh my goodness. Skeleton? I am... You, on the next playthrough, you will be the first to die. No! No. No. I'm not gonna laugh at that. Okay, yeah, runs on the family, I guess. Nerd. Okay, why is it? No, I don't. Screw you. No. That's mm, so he's basically like my goat mom. Yeah, I didn't even want to talk to him. When he wanted to talk to me, just a conveniently shaped lamp. See, I can't even hide behind it anymore. It's not conveniently shaped at all. If it was exactly conveniently shaped to look like my character, then I would understand. But it isn't. So you have failed, Toby Vox. You have failed. Also ketchup, mustard, real shit in the side. Okay. Well, fills me with determination. But here. Box. And the light them inside are taking that some out. Oh, so it's basically like a Paper Mario or Resident Evil boxes. Sure. I bet if I use it, it's. Oh, there's a tough glove inside? Well, that's neat. I'm gonna put the bandage inside, the stick inside. The... Well, actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna take my stick. Tough glove. Use the stick. Wait, what? <laughs> well played. So I'm stuck with a toy knife, is that right? I guess so. Tough glove. Tough glove is even tougher. What happens if I use the toy knife now? Okay. The toy knife it looks too intimidate intimidating though. So I guess I'll stick with a tough glove. Okay, moving forward. How did freaking Sans get over here? Yes, you see me. Okay, this has gone long enough. Y 
Yes. Yes. There's a god. Yes. And its name is not ask for. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what? I was hoping you would come up to me. And keep an eye socket out for me. What if I what if I go up here? Oh cool, I go, go fishing! Fishing around a fix to the ground! Reel it in? Yes! What's that? that the foot of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. Why did I decide not to call? Yes. Weird looking monster. I can still call Toriel. Really? She didn't pick up. up eventually. Oh, there's a monster? Snow Drake flutters forward. Let's check it out. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Oh, good grief. Am I saying good grief too much? Too bad. It smells like a wet pillow. Better laugh. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Those looks like those look like eyeballs, gotta be honest. Yes. Bye. Give me some money. There's some narration on this carved box. You observed a well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman! Note, not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. You will soon be. Absolutely no moving. Okay. No moving. Or is it for the this cardboard slime most? Yeah, it's made out of cardboard. Oops. Yes, it was your imagination. Oh, it, he's got knives. Or swords, I guess? Yeah, you can call them swords. Hmm. Yeah, check him out. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Okay, not gonna move an inch. Mm hmm. Can't seem to find anything. Uh. Yep, yeah, not gonna move. Just gonna keep checking him out. Not move at all. This is so much funner than this way. I, I actually really like the way the monster sprites are animated. It's done in a goofy way that is really appealing. He is really excited by movement. Uh huh. Nope, he can't seem to find anything. He still won't go away anyway, and if I run away, he's going to be excited by my movement. Okay, one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to pet it. Okay, let's try petting it. He's been pet. Okay, so... And now I can spare him, okay. 
I win. <laughs> so uh, basically, it's only if I'm moving my feet. I can actually go ahead and pit it in my hands. Hello? I want to talk to you. Big guy? Who's big guy? Is it Asgore? Come on, I'm right here. Nope, can't stop me. I've got determination. Ah, you're boring. I've been smoking dog treats. Smoking? Who could be... Who could do that? Huh, whatever. Hi. Very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? I don't get it. Something genius is about to come up, correct? Oh, also, this is cold. And by cold, I mean it's frozen. And by frozen, I mean it's slippy. Slippy the toad. Ice cap struts into view. This team wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Snow? No, it's Hat Residue. Uh, this is a neat attack. Ow! Oh, no, actually, it, it, the attack ended at the last second. Neat. Mm. Better compliment it. Loud for you to hear you. Okay, fair enough. In that case, I'm gonna steal! I have to weaken it. I guess I, I, I guess I won't be able to actually, you know, take the hat from it now, so I better just flee. If I can. Can I ignore you? Yep. Better a hatter than a heater. <laughs> this is... It's just one enemy. I win. It's just one enemy and yet I feel like I've gone through an entire adventure just with it. Amazing. So are you going to stab me or are you nice? Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world. But I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and take Rina very far away. Okay. How am I doing? By I mean the piece of me I gave you. Well, you're not doing very well because I haven't gone very far, but... This is one thing that people scroll me about. If you're evil at this point, as in you kill everything in sight, you can do some fairly cruel things to this snowman. Maybe we'll see that some other time when I play this game for the third time or second time or whatever. I have to see everything, I have to play like basically at least three times. And th even then, that's not even true. There's like mo way, way too many different things you can do that change uh, what's gonna happen. So I won't be able to show everything there is to this game. I'm basically going to show like this playthrough where I'm going to basically do whatever I feel like 
then a supremely evil playthrough, and before or after that, a supremely good playthrough. Actually, I pretty much have to do the supremely good playthrough before the supremely evil one, because the supremely evil one taints the game. As in, it screws up the other endings afterwards. But not a supremely good playthrough, no, that doesn't taint your game at all. If you restart, everything is undone. Excuses, excuses. Oh. Quite shocking. In oh. When I touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer hearty zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. I'm liking the expressions of uh, Papyrus. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Okay, so I gotta... <laughs> hold this, please. <laughs> okay, try now. I have to play along? Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded! I know I am! <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keep calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Well, people think you're cooler, apparently. Who's that? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms their heart. What? Okay. Oh, that's what space is for. It's the amount of space I have left to carry stuff. I can carry up to eight items. I can't better call Toriel. You know that's gonna come up later. You all know it. Anyway, nice cream. Is it dangerous? 15 HP. Is it a joke? The rapper says something nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I can't really eat it right now, but it's gonna melt, so yeah. Just gonna enjoy it. Is it as sweet as you? I'm afraid it's maxed out. It's another puzzle! It probably involves rolling around that snowball. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Fried snow? I don't really want fried snow, sorry. You're right. I should charge way more than. Way more than, than that. Is that a typo? I'll never be able to tell with you, Sans. Hmm. Looks like a snowball. Actually, a snow dick drawn? Oh yeah, I, I get it now, I get it. Yeah, it's a joke. It's always with the jokes. Oh, I'm gonna push this. Oh. Is this how it's gonna be? Fair enough. Gotta push this thing all the way down here. Isn't this fun? It's very fun. Come on. Just gotta go here. Yay! Play snow golf. Your concern and care for ball led you to a delicious victory. One gold? What a waste of time. Human! I hope you're ready for. Yes. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there. Underground. Trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. Sans, they didn't even look at it. Oops. <laughs> I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. <laughs> what? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. Uh, should I talk over these two? I can't tell because this split is going to be uploaded way... After I'm already done with it. 
guess I'll do what I feel like, because this is what this playthrough is for. Unbelievable. Hmm. Which is harder? Which is harder? The sign between these two. Okay. What did I choose? Uh, I guess I chose crosswords. <laughs> hmm. What? Monster kids were to search. Huh. Really? Determination. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. Even the save points are fun. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> nerd. Adorable nerd. Eh, I'll continue. Dog marriage? Dog marriage, dog marriage. Random battle. A lesser dog appears. That's a meme. Uh, wheels a stone dogger made of pomegranate. Granite, sorry. Pant, pant! Go away. Ow! Stupid dog. Barely, he lifted my hand and it got excited. Oh, blue, blue is fake. Correct? Because blue didn't do anything to me. Huh. That must mean something. I still I don't I still don't quite grasp it just yet, but blue attacks don't quite touch me. And what's over here? This is neat. Okay, so there's something in the X. Right here. A switch hidden in the snow. I don't know why, but every time I'm looking at this game, playing it, I feel like it should be playable in the Game Boy. Someone should, like, it's clearly not possible, but I would love if someone could get, like, a version of Undertale playable on the Game Boy Color. Yes, the Game Boy Color, not the Game Boy Advance or even the Game Boy Advance SP or the original Game Boy, specifically the Game Boy Color. Oh, good grief. I was hoping they didn't notice me. Doggy assault you. Oh, dog marriage. Dog me, dog Arissa. Check. Husband of dog Arissa knows only what he smells. Okay. What was I supposed to do? I'll uh, go under. Dogs are practicing for their next couple's contest. This puppy finds her hubby lovely. Smells only. Take my wife's sleeves. Don't actually. Yeah, that's how you dodge the attacks. Yeah, I'm just thinking right now. What should I do? We sniff the Dogaressa. Smell just as weird as before, huh? Blue is safe! Blue is safe. No, no, blue is not safe! Blue is not safe! Still don't get it. By the way, I received a new item in my inventory. 
That probably means something, doesn't it? Because I received an item a while ago and it was a papyrus item. Hmm. Probably another papyrus item again, I guess. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Roll around? Ooh, yeah. Now I smell like a weird puppy. Uh, this again? Fair enough. Yes, they do. We sniff me. I smell all right. They won't spare me. Pip, I don't pup. Well, don't leave me out. I'm gonna have to pet the other one. I could simply attack them, but no, uh, this is way more fun to do it this way. Okay, I've already pet you, buddy. Yeah, I'm just gonna dodge all of the hearts, really. Yes. It's fair. Ugh. Dogs can pet other dogs. A whole new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Should have just murdered them. Ah, uh, but I already murdered my mom and decided that was too much, so... Whenever... I bet it's the same for a lot of other people, by the way. Lots of other people murdered the, the goat mom and... I mean... Toriel. They all murdered her, and they just uh, decided... You know what? I can't stand seeing my mom murdered, so I'm gonna start over. And they murdered her because they didn't know how to spare her repeatedly. Turn every X into a no. Then press the switch. Hmm. How do I turn the X for a no? Hi! How did you avoid your trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell about it? I left it. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me. Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> okay, I'll just go on it. Fair enough. Oh, Dan pressed the switch. Here we go. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he could, uh, what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. You're both self-centered, aren't you? I'm gonna have to decide which one's cooler at some point, aren't I? Really? Okay. Try to make it look like his face. Hmm. I guess it kind of looks like his face anyway. Gonna do it. Hmm. Yeah. Like this. Took me longer than it should have to solve this, but yeah. Wow, you solved it! You did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. You laugh like... No, not even a nerd laughs like that. He laughs like himself. Nah, I took my time, actually. No, why would I need your help? <laughs> I've been told. Okay. Hmm. 
need. Uh, that's not good. Oh, good grief. That is not good at all. Okay, this is over overly complicated. Yeah, I do. Yes. Oh, jeez. Please be easy. All pink. All pink. All pink. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I was kind of expecting this stuff, by the way. I did. No one spoiled this for me, but I was really. It was kind of obvious that it was end, gonna end up with a all pink straight line, you know. Hmm, <laughs> boy, you're mean. Oh, there's another doggy right over there. But there's also this that's gonna fill me with determination. The dog will never give up trying to make the perfect sn perfect snow dog. It fills me with determination! And it also fills me with determination. Determination to stop this video. And can it and continue it for later. Hope you've all enjoyed this and hope you're living this day. Bye-bye!